Imagine we had a couple of metal plates and by one of the plates I put an electron. Now electrons have a negative charge. Charge is a property a bit like mass. You know, some things have mass, some things don't. Some things are charged and some things aren't. But uh, if we maybe plug this plate in and we maybe uh, have the top plate held at zero volts and we put the, the bottom plate down to plus one volt, what happens now is there's gonna be an electric field between the two plates. And this positive charge here is gonna attract that negative charge. And what happens is that negative charge accelerates down and it moves from the top plate down to the bottom. The electron accelerated uh, through that uh, potential difference, it gained energy and gained kinetic energy. And because it accelerated through uh, a potential difference of one volt, it actually gained one electron volt of energy. Now this is a bit weird, normally we, we've used joules for measuring all our energy, but perhaps we might use kilowatt hours if we're talking about perhaps very large units of energy. But if we want to think about the energy that something very small, like a small particle gains, uh, then an electron volt is often the, a more appropriate unit. So EV stands for the electron volt. And one electron volt is the energy gained by an, an electron that is accelerated through a PD of one volt. To actually calculate uh, one electron volt in joules, we can look at uh, the equation W equals QV, where we can look at the work done is equal to the charge times the potential difference. Now the elementary charge on one of these electrons is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So a very, very small amount. And we multiply that by the potential difference of one volt to find that one electron volt of energy is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Now that is a really, really small amount, but we've got to think about how small these particles are. You know, their mass is sort of uh, 10 to the minus 31. So these have a very small mass, they're very, very small, but we also have a lot of them. So although the actual energy of one particle might not be that great, because we have many, so many billions of them all at once, uh, that can give us the large energies that, that we get up to. Uh, and you need to know about the electron volt for some of the work to come.